You don't understand. I'm taking us home. Hello guys, this is the Gaming Revolution here and welcome back to an all new Call of Duty Black Ops 3 best class setup and today we're going to be doing a best class setup for the Weevil. Now I plan on uploading best class setups for every single gun or practically every single gun in the game including secondaries so make sure you go check out the playlist which I'll have linked down in this video's description to where you can see all of my best class setup videos. But without further ado, let's get into the best class setup. So on the screen now you can actually see the stats for the Weevil and it's a fully automatic submachine gun with a large magazine capacity with modest damage. And at the moment it has 3 damage, it has 7 range, 16 fire rate, and finally 8 for accuracy. So overall what this gun is really really good at is close range gunfights and encounters because of that extremely extremely fast fire rate. However it does have quite a low damage and quite a low range although it's not too bad. So this gun is definitely performs really really well at close range engagements but not so good at medium to long range. But it's, it's absolutely phenomenal at close range but at long range the recall is just way 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 too much and because it has such a low damage it just performs so well at a range but uh, because of that really fast fire rate it is amazing up close. Now first of all for the best class setup, well I've decided to go with a reflex sight aka the red dot sight but they've just decided to rename it within this game and uh, the reason for that is because as I was saying earlier this gun is pretty bad at medium to long range so having that red dot sight on will enable you to be able to take people out at range a lot a lot easier than you normally would with its standard iron sights. To be honest for this gun the iron sights are pretty good but the problem is because it has such a low damage and because it is such a, a bad uh, gun at a range uh, the red dot side can really help out now next up I have also gone with grip because uh, it does have a quite a significant amount of recall because of that extremely fast fire rate so that'll help to reduce that and I've also gone with quick draw so you can be first to gunfights because you'll be able to aim down sight a hell of a lot quicker. And finally I have also gone with stocks so you'll be able to uh, move quite a significant amount quicker whilst aiming down sight. Which is really good because this gun will be uh, very effective at close range. So being able to have that one up over the enemies because you'll be able to move side to side a lot quicker. Will uh, be able to deter the enemies and make it harder for them to aim at you at a close range. Now let's move on to the perks, so for the perks, uh, first of all for perk 1 I've decided to go with 6 cents and you're going to see this on practically 99% of my best class setups because it's by far the best perk within Black Ops 3. Uh, essentially what it does is it enables you to see where nearby enemies uh, are on your mini map, it'll highlight the area where they are red and it's just so so effective. Now for perk 2 I've gone with fast hands because it enables you to swap weapons faster and aim faster after sprinting and it will also reset the fuse when throwing back for, uh, frag grenades quicker and obviously that is really really crucial with an uh, SMG so you can be again first to gunfights like with quick draw. And finally for perk 3 I've decided to go with Tactical mass because it reduces the effects of flash, concussion, grenades, etc. And I find them to be really overpowered within Black Ops 3, and they're really, really annoying when you get stunned and you just can't fucking move all the time. Uh, and it's just so, so annoying. So that is why I do have decided to go with that. And finally, I have decided to go with one frag grenade also, just because, well, why not? I guess I've got an extra point to uh, spare there. So, uh, anyways, that's going to conclude today's best class setup. Make sure to leave down in the comment section down below what you think of this best class setups uh, you've got to bear in mind that this is my personal best class setup so if you want to make any changes to it uh, by all means go ahead uh, and also leave down in the comment section down below any improvements for future best class setups or how you would actually improve this best class setup which you've actually seen in today's video but hopefully it has been helpful nevertheless so anyways thank you for watching the video Please subscribe for new and for latest and great advanced warfare and news and content series thank you for watching and uh, Bye.